if your goals are beyond just looking good, but you also want to feel good, move freely, and live a long, healthy life, then I invite you to move the way we evolved to move. Hey tribe, we've got a free challenge coming up in the new year that's gonna completely transform your body and your mind. So stick around to the very end of the video to find out all the details. On a related note, you'll often catch me say, move the way we evolved to move. Now, what do I mean by this? How can understanding our evolution help us unlock our potential? live longer, healthier lives, and inform the best exercise program. This is the walkway to the gym, at least when the tide's high anyway. In order to keep our bodies healthy, we need to understand what we were naturally selected to do. We are primates and we are hunter-gatherers. That is what evolution molded us for. Humans are among the most versatile movers and animals generally on the planet. And yet today, we are hardly required to move at all. Our bodies become tight from sitting most of the day, our eyes tire from staring at screens, and our minds become overwhelmed from all the information we consume those who choose to counter our modern lifestyle with physical activity often do so with movements that don't mimic the way we evolved. For the first decade of my training, I mostly did bench press and deadlifts. Now these exercises are great. Please continue to do them. But most traditional strength exercises don't focus on some of the most important aspects of health and fitness. The human body has developed to do a lot more than just move heavy objects. Pre-human primates crawled on all fours. And this also happens to be among the first movement patterns that we learn as infants. Crawling has many benefits, including enhanced core and upper body strength. Now we all know push-ups are great for this, but you won't have to do very many if you incorporate crawling into your routine. Not only that, but the more contact our body has with the floor, the more information our brain gets about our body position in space. This awareness is called proprioception, or sometimes referred to as the sixth sense. And it's not just important for learning advanced physical skills, but it's also important for stimulating our brains, getting us into a neuroplastic state, allowing us to learn new things so that we can stay healthy mentally for the long term. An easy place to start with crawling is to add some ape, bear, and crab crawls in as a morning routine or a warm up for your other training activities. Remember, it's not a race. Set a two minute timer and go. Quality is key and enjoy the movements. Pre-human primates also evolved to live in the trees. Our shoulders became more mobile, our arms grew longer, and our thumbs modified for grasping. Primates are also the only animals that evolved to brachiate meaning to suspend the body and to locomote using only the forelimbs or the arms. Researchers have discovered that primates climb most efficiently in contralateral patterns. 
This refers to an opposing arm and leg working together, and is in contrast with other mammals like horses, cats, and dogs, which move bilaterally. And now, this happens to be how we move most efficiently on the ground. And it's the basis for our bipedal patterns too. Try accumulating about two minutes of total hang time per day. Beginners can start with a hinge and hang, intermediates with a dead hang, and more experienced movers with a single arm hang. And if you don't have a bar at home, try using a doorway. Your grip strength will increase and your shoulders will feel great. But hold on a second. We're not monkeys anymore. We're humans. While we may have spent our pre-human evolutionary history crawling and climbing, humans have been walking, running, and lunging upright for most of our recent evolutionary history. Practicing standing and lunging patterns can enhance our balance and our stability. This can prevent us from falling later in life or keep us safer if we do. Take frequent breaks throughout the day to do some lunges, go for a walk outside, or pick up the pace to improve your cardio. Beginners can challenge their balance and stability with multi-directional toe taps and slowly progress towards more challenging variations like multi-directional lunges. Humans also started to use stone tools, like knives and spears. Throwing objects like javelins and spears took our shoulder mobility and our dexterity to a whole nother level, helping us develop one of the most unique movement patterns of any animal on this planet. Now, if you don't wanna sweat your ass off throwing stones into the ocean and you're not waging a prehistoric war on your neighbor, you can get a lot of the same throwing benefits by practicing arm swings and rotations. Start with single arm swings, move into some double arm swings, and then practice shadow throws, and you'll get a lot of the same mobility, coordination, and core benefits. All right, while I am grateful for sunshine in the rainy season, it is hot, so we're filming inside. Humans also started to cook food by the fire where some really interesting things happened. We would rest by the fire seated in a cross-legged position, or we would rest in a squat. Sitting in a squat can work wonders for full body mobility and will definitely relax and mobilize the hips especially. Try accumulating five minutes in a squat per day. You can break that up into sets of 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, if sitting in a squat is difficult at first, you can try hanging from a household object. And if you are comfortable down here, you can try a few mobilizations to rest even more comfortably and to develop a bit more strength in this position. We also have theories that meditation first started by the fire. For hundreds of thousands of years, we human beings sat around fires gazing into the flames and embers with cold and darkness at our backs. Maybe this is where formal meditation first got its start. Candle gazing meditation sharpens vision, improves concentration, and some studies have found that it can even improve memory, all the while inducing similar trance-like states as those from gazing at a larger fire. Incorporating some meditation practices can be tremendously beneficial for our mental and holistic well-being. Fast forward to the present. Our lives are dominated by screens and furniture. Our bodies and minds still crave highly varied movement and mindfulness, just as our ancestors did. Engaging in a training program that incorporates a broad spectrum of movement patterns is critical for our physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. This is where the Move, Breathe, Evolve 2024 challenge comes in. The challenge features a 15-minute routine. We'll squat for two minutes, crawl for two minutes, hang for two minutes, lunge for two minutes, and throw for two minutes. 
and finish everything off with a five minute meditation. You'll be encouraged to take short walking breaks or stretching breaks throughout the day and we'll finish the day with three minutes of squatting, a two minute period of rolling, and then a short journaling routine to help you fall asleep faster and wake up the next day motivated and ready to take on another great day. You can participate in the challenge for your health, your fitness, and your well being, as well as an opportunity to win a lifetime membership to the Evolution Collective. Take video clips of your morning routine and tag me in your stories for a chance to win your lifetime membership. If you want updates about the challenge as well as join the community of people who's going to be doing it along with you, you can find the link in the description below. And if you want a simple program that's going to help you go in depth on all of the movement patterns we discussed today, as well as journaling and meditation techniques, you can find that program also in the link below. By embracing the way we evolve to move, we can unlock our full human potential. Let's discover how awesome it is to be human together. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and check out the Move Breathe Evolve 2024 challenge. We'll see you in the new year tribe. Let's get it.